Hello everyone, John Waffle H2P here. Today I'm at my computer because I wanna give you a statistical analysis of the ACC and conference realignment in general and what is what we could get if we could add Stanford, Cal, and SMU. And for the record guys, I apologize for making another conference realignment video, but this is kind of important as this news that we're pr probably gonna get three schools, pr three pretty valuable schools in a way to the ACC could be pretty big. Now, as you can look here, uh, Notre Dame at top with $11 billion, but Florida State, surprisingly, is at seven, $703 million. But Florida State makes up their lost endowment with football. They are a football brand, and they're one of the leaders trying to get out of the ACC. Now, you can even see a lot of the downplay teams like Miami, Virginia Tech, Clemson are pretty low, around $1 billion, $1 billion because, yeah, they, they do pay a lot more for f football, but they are good schools in a way. At least Miami definitely is in Virginia Tech. But um, as you can see up at the top, uh, in the middle, we're all in the billions here, mostly, except for Florida State and Louisville. They are the West Virginians of the, West Virginias of the conference. Uh, but Pitt at $5 billion. Yeah. And this data I know is right. Pitt is worth $5 billion, five point something billion dollars. But guys, this isn't an exactly a correct version of the data that is being in that is here, but this is kind of a strata and basically pretty much close to what we're seeing. So don't get all worried. Oh, it, UVA is actually, uh, $8 million now because, because I've just been pulling numbers. I really don't feel like going and taking data for a video like this. I may do that if you guys want me to in the next off season. But for right now, this is what we look like. Everyone is pretty rich in this conference. And even Florida State, they're worth a billion dollars too. And Louisville too. They're just not, their endowments are just not big. But then you go and look at Stanford. Now Stanford, uh, oh, this is our potential, uh, <laughs> Conference members coming in, new conference members coming in, Stanford, Cal, and SMU. Now, these are have rich alumni. They have great, they have great uh demographics in San Francisco and uh Dallas. And in, I think if the ACC could get into those markets, that would be extremely valuable. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's gonna boost us all the way up to a power three or whatever, but I think that would make us the better of the two between the big twelve and the ACC because I believe that's our rival right now I'll say because I I don't know when Florida State's gonna leave I don't know what's gonna happen there um but for now um even if they did I mean I don't even know if they would but because I don't know the Big Ten's plan but Stanford is one of the greatest universities in the world and of course their endowment's huge uh they're Olympic sports are huge. Both Cal and Stanford's Olympic sports are huge. And SMU, a great university as well. A lot of rich alumni. I can name you thousands of alumni for from all three of these schools. Like, uh, I'm not going to get into the names, but I mean, you could, you probably know as well that several actors, politicians, presidents, uh, scientists have come out of these three great institutions, billionaires. And that is great to have if you want to build the conference more, you want to get more richer fans into the conversation. And I think that would be a great idea. A lot of people are saying, oh, they're not football brands, but it's not necessarily always about football. The economic standpoint is Stanford and Cal are two of the greatest universities in, in the world. They are well known. They are well respected. You're going to have more people from Kentucky apply to Stanford than you are going to have from Kentucky apply to Washington State and Oregon State Junior Junior, which I'm calling Junior Junior because uh, I think Oklahoma State is actually well respected. They have a well respected athletic program and a, a definitely a, one of the greatest wrestling programs. So you can't really uh, uh, compete with Oklahoma State. So um, Oregon State Junior Junior has about. $819 million in their endowment. That's pretty low. And Washington State has one of the worst endowments I've ever seen. And really, probably, and out of all these schools, they wouldn't even fill in up nothing. They were, are worth $634 million. 
And I know I'm just getting these numbers, but these are statistical point, guys. Guys, uh, it's not too far off if it's wrong, so please don't judge me. Oh, I found this, I found that. And this is from based articles I've been founding online, not just by people saying what we know we have. I think um, this is a good scenario of where these schools are and why they are not going anywhere, why they are destined for the Mountain West or wherever, and why you shouldn't be running a football program if you don't have the cash. Guys, like I said, Stanford and Cal and SMU to some standpoint are not football powers or, or at least any more, but they are well-known institutions. Like I said, more people from Kentucky and West Virginia and uh, Vermont are going to be applying to uh, all three schools, but mostly Cal and Stanford. Because they're well-known institutions. They are always up there with the Ivy Leagues. They are Ivy League level institutions. Th two of the greatest institutions in the world. It's same thing in a way with SMU. They are a lot more valuable than Washington State and Oregon State. And yes, you can say the fan bases are small, but it's not necessarily going to be about the fan bases in this realignment. It's going to be about the networking. It's going to be about how the schools you do have because they are brand name schools. They are. And we already have several brand name schools in this league that I think will be staying, by the way. Like, I don't think Syracuse and Duke are going to be leaving. I really don't. Um, Wake. Um, I mean, so, I mean, it is what it is. People don't understand that. I'm not saying that there, I'm sure there's really great Oregon State and Washington State fans out there, but I'm just being realistic here. Uh, they really shouldn't be added anywhere. You should not, no one should be offering a light vote to these two schools. They've been, they've been the bottom feeders of their own conference for generations. And now they're all mad that they're getting left out and all shock, shell shocked. So now they actually care. Now they're trying to win games and now this and now that. And I know I'm being hard on these schools, but there are schools that are actually getting screwed even before this stupid thing happened. Um, that are in this conference, by the way, and you probably know one that I'm talking about. And I mean, they, we, they actually built their program up before all this nonsense happened. And this was before COVID, but no, that we're getting left out. And yeah, I'm talking about Pitt. We're probably getting, we're on the outside looking in as of right now. It's not looking good for us. I mean, so why isn't no one pitting us? I, I did put a pun there, but uh, why is no one not feeling uh, why is no one feeling sorry for us? I mean, because I don't understand why everyone needs Washington State. Oh, they have a great fight song. They have a famous fight song. It was in a great famous movie. Oh, Oregon State, they're great at baseball. They're a great school. Uh, why so I mean, oh, it's the Pac-12. We don't care about the ACC. We don't never care about the ACC. So I mean, I just don't understand, guys. I mean, why give Oregon State and Washington State a life back when their endowments are not even high and when their branding's not even high? They're not a football school. Washington, Oregon State may have $8 million, the best of the two, but they're in debt right now. They, they wasted all their endowment, most likely, on their new stadium renovations. And that is just laughable in a, my, my opinion. And I apologize for going on a rant right now, but this Twitter nonsense needs to stop. People on... Oregon State, Washington State really just need to understand that there are better schools being left out and hopefully Stanford and Cal and SMU could move to the ACC for now and be in at least of a better situation than they already are because the Big 12 didn't want them for some reason. Or I guess they didn't want the Big 12. That's actually jokes on those schools. But um, of the making of this, yeah, Washington State and Oregon State Junior. Well, why should they be in the Power Five? Why? What have they done for college football? I mean, seriously. And I don't want to hear, oh, Pitt hasn't done anything since 70, the 80s. I, this isn't about Pitt. We won the ACC two years ago. So stop. I don't want to hear those comments. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Should Washington State and Oregon State drop their football program? Because I'm just being honest, guys. I mean, they're money wasters. And I I, I think uh, adding these three schools would be very valuable to the ACC. While, while a lot of fans may not even see it, I mean, this is what it's really for. Not I wasn't even trying to trash Stanford and Cal on here. I was more being positive. The Pitt fans or ACC fans... Yes, we're probably going to lose Florida State, Clemson, maybe Miami, 
and I mean, some more, but I mean, we could fill up if we try. And I don't think uh, the Big Ten is gonna take everyone. So with that being said, guys, uh, let's see if this goes through these two the uh, Stanford deserves it. I, I mean, pol politically, Cal doesn't, but they are, like I said, a big brand and economics comes first. SMU, I think they deserve it. And I hope these schools survive because they, I mean, most, mo besides the one I have on here really deserves to be in a better situation than they already are. These unfortunately do not. I mean, I wish them best of luck. I wish they could have done something like in, when they still had Leach and uh, their other coaches, like uh, when uh, in the 2000s with Oregon State, but no, they screwed around and then even build off of that 2000 season that they had. So shame on them. But that being said, guys, uh, let me know what you think of my data. This I'm, let me, I'm going to probably do some more statistical analysis videos with this data. Uh, maybe I'll make it more professional, but I just didn't want to do make all these charts on my day off and stress myself, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, and I'll probably get a better camera or something here soon when I, when I get more subscribers, I need more subscribers. I lost a sub, so please fill it back up. Let's get the 50 by October. I would like that. Like, subscribe, and as always, guys, hail to pit.